This is the solution to homework set number 5 for EC111, circuits when review. The first problem is calculating volts, amps, ohms, and watts given two parameters. The basic equations you have is that voltage is equal to I times R, current times resistance. So given two terms, you can find the third. And the third one is power is just volts times amps. And you can do other variations, such as solve for current, substitute, but those are the basic ones. So the first problem, if I have 12 volts, 2.5 amps, voltage over current gives you resistance, 4.8 ohms. Voltage times amps gives you the power, 30 watts. Uh, 12 volts, 8 ohms. Volts over ohms gives you current, 1.5 amps. Volts times amps is watts. Uh, 2.5 amps at 200 watts tells you the voltage, 80 volts, and then volts over current gives you ohms. Uh, 12 volts at 50 watts, 50 over 12 gives you 4.167, and then the resistance, voltage over amps, is 2.88. So given any two terms, you can find all the rest. The second problem is conservation voltage. Going around any closed path, the voltages have to add to zero, so the trick is to find a closed path where there's only one unknown, like right here. I go around this path. I wind up where I started. The conventional I'll use, if I hit the minus sign first, I'll subtract. If the plus sign first, I'll add. So I get minus C plus 3 plus 48 equals 0. One equation, one unknown. Solve for C. I get 51 volts. You can also do it this way. If I start from this corner and go up, I get 51. I've got to get the same answer going left. Once I know C, I can solve for B. So minus 100 plus B plus C. I'm back where I started, equals 0. B is 49. Once I know B, I can solve for A. Minus A plus 33 plus 75 minus B equals 0. I'm back where I started. Um, find D, E, and F. So around any closed path, the answer has to be 0. And once you're done, it is any path. So if you pick a completely insane path, like when you go up, over, down, over, up, over, down, over, down, over, up, uh, maybe not, skip that one, over, I've got to get to zero as well. That's conservation of voltage. Conservation of current. Current in equals current out. So right here, I've got 90 amps out, I have to have 90 milliamps in. 100 milliamps in, 10 out, this has to be 90. Uh, for B. 90 in, it's got to be 90 out, so B plus 84 is 90, B is 6, right here. 84 in, it's got to be 84 out, so 84 is 19 plus 65. At this point, current in equals current out, 65 is 14 plus 51. Current in equals current out, 51 equals 51. Uh, 16 plus 51 equals 67. At this point, 10 plus 19 is 20 plus 9 and so on. Current in equals current out. That's problem three. Problem four is solve for the resistance. This is where the HP taskbars are really nice, or HP calculators are really nice. Let's go to that picture. So resistors in series add. In parallel, they add as 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. inverted. So this is the equation for resistors in parallel. These two are in series. The current through the first resistor has to go through the second. So that will be 114, enter 892. On the HPs, you use the stack, put the two numbers on the stack, and then tell it what you want to do. I want to add those two. They're in series. This is 1006 ohms. In parallel with 471. Again, the voltage on the top is the same. The voltage on the bottom is the same. That's parallel. In parallel, they add as the inverses, so 1 over R1, here's R2, 471, take its inverse, add it, this is 320 ohms, looking right, meaning all these together are 320 ohms. In series with 620, again this current, that resistance, and all these together are in series, so I add 620, 940 ohms. That's in parallel with 816. In parallel, it adds as the inverses. So take that inverse, 
8.16, inverse, atom. This is 436 ohms. And Sirius was 740. So there's the answer. The total current is 1176 ohms. That's problem four. Uh, these I'm going to remember, 436 and 320. Uh, to use voltage division. I can find the voltages given V2. I can find V3 by voltage division. That's what I'm measuring. Divided by the total resistance is that percentage of V2. Well, to start, I need to find, I know V0. V0 is 10. So find V1. To find V1, combine all these resistances. From before, that was 436 ohms. The voltage division is what I'm measuring, divided by the total, times 10. Gives you 3.7 volts. Once I know V1, I can find V2. V2 is what I'm measuring, divided by the total. Actually, come back up for a sec. To do this on an HP calculator, I would do what I... the resistance that I'm measuring across, 436.842. And here's the trick. I'm going to hit Enter a couple times, three times. Now I'll add 740. 740 plus 436 is 1176. That's my denominator. I hit Enter a couple times because it remembered that first number. Now take the ratio, that percentage of 10, 3.71. Now to find V2 is the resistance I'm measuring across, 320.803. Enter, enter, 620. Add that, again this is the numerator, denominator, divide, that percentage of 3.71. 1.27 volts. Now over here, 892. Enter, enter, 114. I enter twice because the first one's for the addition, the second one is for the division. 1.12 volts. And kind of notice with the HP, it did these calculations really easy. When you're having a midterm, it's kind of a race. you got to get to the end before the time, time runs out. A calculator that works for you really is worth a lot of points on a test. I highly recommend HPs. Problem six is check in circuit lab. Build the circuit, find the voltages, and you get exactly the same answer. So that's homework set number five for ECE 111.